Well, hello guys. It's Donna again from Flavors with a Twist. And how are my flavor twisters doing today? I hope that you are doing well. What we're going to do today, flavor twisters, we are going to make some quick and delicious tuna salad. And the way I'm going to serve this tuna salad, I'm going to put it inside tomatoes. Stuff these beautiful tomatoes with the tuna salad. Cause I'm having brunch with my girls and I wanted to bring something quick and easy, but delicious. So in front of you, I have two cans of um, tuna and these are the five ounce cans. I have about two tablespoons of relish in that jar and it's dill relish. I have some fresh parsley. I have a teaspoon of sugar. I have two eggs that I chopped up back here. I have one stalk of celery that I chopped fine. And I have one quarter small onion that I chopped fine. I have some ground red pepper and some salt. And I have some mayonnaise. And what I'm also going to do, guys, I'm going to put maybe like a teaspoon of garlic powder. I forgot to put that on. So here you go, I have the garlic powder. So I'm gonna add like about a teaspoon of that or half a teaspoon. I'll season it to taste. So what we're gonna do first of all, guys, we're gonna cut these tomatoes and I'm gonna turn them down and let them drain and we'll mix up our tuna salad. This is real quick and easy, guys. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now in this bowl, I have six fine ripe tomatoes. They're beautiful, guys. And what I did, I washed them off and I dried them off with some paper towels. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to cut them. So, the way I usually cut my tomatoes is stuff them. Now, you could, you could do it this way, but you don't have to. Um, you can take the tomato and cut the top off and gut it out and put the tuna salad in that way. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to make mine into little stars. So you flip it over with that stem side down and cut it. But don't cut it all the way to the bottom. Okay. Turn it. Cut it again. Now, see these four parts? I'm going to cut each one of these in half and that will give you eight flowers, okay? All righty. And what you're gonna do, see how this is? Looks real pretty, guys. You can just open a tomato up like that. But what we're going to do, I have um, a plate here with some paper towels. Just turn the tomato upside down so it can drain. I'm gonna show you one more, and then I'll cut the rest of them and we could get this tuna salad started. And you see how it drips there, so. Okay, that's why I got the paper towels. Cut it down like that, but don't go all the way to the bottom. Okay, now you see it's four pieces. Now keep, cut each one of those fours down the middle and that'll give you eight and it's that simple guys so I'm gonna flower this out a little bit but you could call them flowers stars or whatever and that way you're not gutting your tomato and I'm gonna turn it down over here I got them turned down so they'll drain so I'm gonna finish cutting these guys and we're gonna mix up our tuna salad Okay guys, I'm back and here are our tomatoes and they're all split and I have them draining, got them turned down on the paper towels to drain. Now let's get this tuna salad mixed up. Now I took the two cans of tuna and drained them. Now what we're going to do is add some goodies. It's only two cans of tuna so I didn't chop up a lot of vegetables but we might not need them all so I'm just going to do it like this. Okay, two teaspoons of that. And these are heaping teaspoons. 
but you would do this to your taste. That's the onion, and here's the cel celery. Okay, if it needs some more, I'll add it. Now, I have the relish. I can put all of this in. Okay. And we have our egg. And this is two eggs. What I did, I used one egg per can of tuna. But like I said, you can do this to your taste, guys. Okay, just mix this around. What we're gonna do, we're gonna add some mayonnaise. And then I'll season it to taste. Okay, now I got, I'll put maybe two heaping teaspoons in first. Well, tablespoons. But do this to your taste, guys. Then um, how much mayonnaise you want in your tuna salad. Okay. But you don't want it dry. So yeah, I can tell I'm gonna have to add some more. Mmm, yeah, it smells so good. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna add some more. Just maybe one more tablespoon. So that'd be like three heaping tablespoons. Okay, now what I'm going to do is add some of this garlic powder, this granulated garlic, and I have a teaspoon here, and I'm going to add a teaspoon of that. I'm not going to use any onion powder because we have onion in it. Okay, well maybe a half a teaspoon, I don't want to put too much. Okay, and I have some sea salt. Why not? It's tuna, it's from the sea. <laughs> okay. And what I have here also, I have some ground red pepper, and I'm just gonna put a couple of dips in that. You gotta watch this stuff, cause it's hot, there we go. I'd rather use this in the tuna salad than the black pepper. Now this is a teaspoon of sugar. And I'm just going to put that teaspoon in. Alrighty. We're good to go, guys. I'm going to put a little bit more mayonnaise. And that's it. Okay, let me get another tablespoon of mayonnaise. I don't want to overdo it. But you don't want to dry either. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna finish mixing this up and I'm gonna taste it. See how it tastes. And then we are going to stuff our tomatoes. Here we go. See how this tastes. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. That is really good, guys. Now guys, what I'm going to do, I knew it was something missing. I'm just gonna squirt just a little bit of yellow mustard in there. Just a little, just to give it a twang. You'd be surprised how much that will flavor the tuna. One more taste, but I believe that's what it needed. And like I said guys, taste it for your salt and pepper. But be careful with that red pepper, but it gives us such a good taste without putting all that black pepper in here. Okay, now let me taste this one more time. And then I think we're ready. Mmm, yeah. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's what it needed. So, and there's enough salt in there, but like I said, guys, do it to your taste. And now what I'm going to do is get the tomatoes and we're going to start stuffing them. Hold tight. Okay, guys, I have four of them here. I have the other two on the side, but I'll do those. Now, what I like to do is take an ice cream scoop. This is the easiest way to do this. And 
Just put it in the center like this. Okay. Here you go. Come off of there. And then you can kind of move your tomato up to make it look pretty. Okay. And do the same thing with the rest of them. Now what I like to do is sprinkle just a little paprika on the top and we'll put the parsley on. Okay. Now let's sprinkle just a little bit of paprika. Not much, just a little bit for color. Okay. All righty. Put some on the little one over here. Now what you want to do is take that parsley and just put like a bunch, and this is a curly parsley, and just put it in the middle like that. Doesn't it look pretty, guys? And that's it. So here's your tuna boats. Tuna tomato boats. And like I said, these are good to take for lunch or brunch or Someone comes over, just serve them something nice and cool because the summertime's here now and that's all you have to do. It doesn't take long, but it looks pretty. So, there you have it, guys. And I have my other one over here. Okay. So, this is Flavors with a Twist. This is my version of my star tuna boats with tomatoes. There we go. And don't they look pretty, guys? And the tuna salad is delicious. So like I said, this is a quick and easy recipe. It doesn't take long. So for this recipe and more, go to flavorswithatwist.com. YouTubers like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified of all the recipes that I upload. So, this is Donna from Flavors with a Twist. Bye!